Hi, this is Debbie Sementelli from Lettering Art Studio and Debbie Sementelli Type Foundry. And today I'm going to show you how to work with open type in Photoshop. I know a lot of people have Photoshop and they use it for photos. Okay, that's good, cool. Um, but sometimes you want to design with it and you may not be familiar with where to actually find the character box that has the uh, open type feature. So I'm going to show you that and then I'm going to show you what you can do with that. So first of all you would go up to window and come down to character and that's where you're going to click on character. I just clicked off of it so it took the uh, it got rid of the box. Now I'm clicking back on and there's the character box. And the character box has some cool things you might want to check out on your own. Um, all these little T's down here at the bottom can help, uh, help you make a font go bold or italicize a font or um, give you all caps or small caps, give you superscript or subscript, underline or strike through. And uh, the other features here to uh, work on um, changing the vertical scaling and the horizontal scaling. Those are also very cool as well. But what I'm going to focus on is the open type. So now that you have your character box, you're going to go up to the top right corner and there's a little arrow and these little lines and you're just going to click on that and you'll see it says open type. And right now we have the standard ligatures on. And the standard ligatures are just your, your regular basic set of letters, which every font has. Now, some fonts are coded with alternate letters that are called contextual and stylistic and swash. Not all fonts have, um, have all of those, but this font that I created, Bella Chia Pro Bold, happens to have them all. And, um, and it has quite an extensive library of them. Um, but you can always click on, on the type itself and highlight it if you want to see what a font has or doesn't have. And you just go here to open type. And now we're going to click on contextual. And there, I'm going to show you how that changed it. So obviously, all these different letters came in that are a little bit fancier. So we know that this font has contextual alternates. That's cool. Now you're going to go back and highlight again and go again up to your little corner there. Go to open type and we're going to first click off of contextual and it will change the font back to the standard ligatures. But now we're going to go back in, open type and go down to swash. And again, that's what that looks like. So we have some of the letters wouldn't change a lot of the times, you know, some of the vowels like E um, or O, those might stay the same because uh, they kind of need to be more uniform. But, um, but a lot of the other letters did change. And then we might not like this B here, and we might want to change that to a different B. But right now I'm going to go back in and show you, sorry, and whenever you're going to change um, the font, you want to go in and click with the type tool first, highlight it, and we go back up to our little box, open type, we're going to click off of swash, it changes it back to standard again, go back in, and now we're going to try stylistic, and let's see what happens with stylistic. There you go. So stylistic, very different. Some of the letters might be the same. Um, some change. It all depends on how the letters are coded. But basically, that's how you can make a lot of um, different changes in, in your font. So if I wanted to, for instance, change this B, I can just do it by a single letter by clicking on the font itself with the type tool, highlighting the letter I want to change, go into open type 
And now let's say I want to try the swash B. So there you go. I was able to change the swash B without changing anything else. But you could go in and look at all kinds of alternative letters for any of these. So, um, so that's just my little tutorial because I received an email from someone who did not know how to find the open type feature in Photoshop. And, um, and so I thought I'd just share this with you. If you're interested in purchasing any of my fonts, you can find me on Etsy, Dem Debbie Sementelli, or uh, My Fonts, and um, FontSpring, and uh, that's it for now. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Until next time, have a good night. Thanks. Bye.